Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. We are continuing with our lessons from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast by Aid Abdullah Qarni, which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 92, Lesson 19, The Occurrence of Waste During Ramadan. Waste is one of the sins and wrongdoing that the deviant nations have fallen into. Allah Almighty has forbidden and condemned it. And do not waste God's bounties. Verily, he does not love the wasteful. Quran 6 verse 141. Waste is a custom of people who do not revere Allah. They do not respect his bounties. In spite of his warning, but do not squander thy substance senselessly. Behold, the squanderers are indeed of the ilk of the Satans inasmuch as Satan has indeed proved most ungrateful to his sustainer. Quran 17 verse 26 to 7. Many people waste a great deal in Ramadan. Among the various forms of squander is the preparation of excessive food above natural needs. Some people are accustomed to many kinds of food and drink. In Ramadan, they load their dining tables in the early morning and evening with everything that is delicious and good. Most of it is left to spoil and is thereafter thrown away. O oh, you who fast, be aware of extravagance and waste. There are poor and needy people among the Muslims. Give, therefore, whatever you have in excess to the indigent servants of Allah. Perhaps this would be registered for you with Allah Almighty. He says of his servants, Who gives food, however great be their own want of it, unto the needy and the orphan and the captive, saying in their hearts, We feed you for the sake of Allah alone? We desire no recompense from you, nor thanks. Behold, we stand in awe of our sustainer's judgment on a distressful, fateful day. Quran 76 verse 8 to 10. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says in an authentic hadith, On the day of judgment, Allah Almighty will say, O son of man, I was hungry and you fed me not. The servant will reply, How could I have fed you and you are Lord of all the worlds? Allah will say, Did you not know that my servant, so and so, was hungry and you did not feed him? If you fed him, you would have found that with me. Among the various forms of extravagance is that of excessive sleep, way above normal needs, especially in the day. Many people who fast turn their days into spells of deep slumber and negligence. And strange as it may seem, they spend many hours staying up at night pursuing matters all too much to account for. They waste their nights in gossip and trivialities. Others spend their nights engaged in things that are totally unlawful and abominable, thereby provoking the anger of Allah Almighty. Another kind of extravagance that is often witnessed is the time and money spent in preparing for Eid al-Fitr, the festival of the breaking of the fast. Many Muslims incur expenses far above their ability to pay. They squander huge sums of money on clothes, games and other forms of preparations. Indeed, it is quite common to find people who spend thousands upon thousands upon these vanities when, in reality, they are the meanest of persons when it comes to giving charity and other acts of righteousness. O you whom Allah has blessed with wealth, know that in society there are orphans and poor people. Will you not feed the hungry and clothe the naked? Will you not build a mosque? Will you not contact someone with whom your relationship was broken? Will you not relieve the distress from one who is afflicted? Still, another form of waste is the indulgence by those who fast in numerous visits without any gain or benefit. Similarly, they engage in mixing repeatedly with people for no specific reason or interest. In this way, their time is wasted, their age is frittered away and their days are lost. The Qur'an forewarns that on the day of judgment, 
such people will cry. Alas for us, that we disregarded it. Quran 8 verse 31. Further waste is witnessing the addiction to entertainment and recreation. Hence, the obsession with games such as football, physical exercises, picnics and other activities that consume valuable time that could have otherwise been devoted to worship, remembrance of Allah, recitation of the Qur'an, acquisition of knowledge, propagation and enjoining good and forbidding wrong. In this light, it is evident that many people squander their time in the strangest ways. Yet, tomorrow, when the graves throw up what they contain and the hearts reveal what they bear, all these people will see the results of their actions. On the whole, the various extravagances can be summarised as follows. People who waste their time in disobedience and sin, their extravagance is the most dangerous and worst kind. People who waste their time by aimlessly strewing it in all directions, they will be the most regretful on the day of the Great Exhibition. People who waste time and money on food, drink and clothes, which do not increase them except in dejection and anxiety. People who waste their time in the permissible games, amusement and picnics. They have, in reality, cheated their age. We ask Allah for success, steadfastness, guidance and strict economy. Alhamdulillah, there were a couple of eye-openers in that lesson. Please do join us for tomorrow's lesson. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.